Installing a VPN on your router is awesome. You'll protect your home network, unlock locked Netflix libraries, and essentially install a VPN on all of your devices in one swoop. Except in reality, it's not that amazing at all. Most likely your router doesn't even have a VPN feature, and even if it does, the combination of weak hardware and high processing power needed results in speeds straight out of the 2010 era. In this video, I'll tell you everything that others simply won't. From the struggles of installing the VPN on your router, to actually using it in real life. And to understand why router-based VPNs are not worth it, I'll go through the setup process so you can see how many barriers we have to overcome and sacrifices to make just to make it work. To install a VPN on your router, you'll need two things, a VPN and a router. Such a surprise, right? Okay, got it? Prepare to be disappointed. The router you have most likely doesn't have a VPN feature because it was probably provided by your ISP. Now, this isn't a problem in itself, but most ISPs just give you the cheapest option they can get away with. And usually that means limited features and weak hardware. However, it's still worth checking if your router supports the VPN feature. You can do that by googling your router's brand, plus login, or copy the IPv4 DNS address from the Wi-Fi settings and paste it into the search bar. If you find a VPN or virtual server option, then great! The first step is complete. And if you can't find this option, I'll talk about installing different firmware later in this video. After that, it should be pretty simple. I won't go into detail because every router has a pretty different setup process, but generally, you'll first need to copy and paste your manual setup logins and upload the server setup file to your router. As I mentioned, some routers have a very different setup process, but all of the popular VPNs have excellent step-by-step -step guides on how to do it on every supported router. I'll leave the links to the guides and everything else you would need in the description. After installing, your whole network will be using the server you selected earlier. And now you'll see why I do not recommend using a VPN this way. I have a gigabit connection and when I turn the VPN on, I get around 10 megabits per second. That's literally 1% of my original speed. Now, don't blame the VPN provider for this. No matter what VPN you use, the limitations are kind of on your end. First, OpenVPN is not the fastest protocol, and second, the speed depends on your router's hardware. Yeah, we're back at this problem again. For example, I paid around 100 bucks for this router. It's definitely nothing amazing, but it's considered to be one of the better ones and is definitely better than the $20 router your ISP provides you with. Despite this, when using the VPN, my router's CPU usage spikes to nearly 90% because of the encryption it's doing on my network. By using all of my router's resources, it limits the speed it can give me. More powerful routers would be able to encrypt this data stream more effectively, which would give you better speed, but you're looking at routers costing hundreds of dollars, which in my opinion is totally not worth it. I tried to find what's the maximum speed you could achieve using OpenVPN, and from what I could find, it's pretty underwhelming. There are other protocols, but they are rarely supported by the VPN providers or routers themselves, so you don't have much choice here either. And one more thing I want to mention is that using a VPN on a router will not reliably unlock streaming platform libraries. It's fine on Windows and I can access shows from whatever country, but sometimes it doesn't work on my iPhone or TV, which is kinda weird. Before I tell you the alternative method, just as promised, I'll show you how to add a VPN functionality to an unsupported router. Of course, if you really want to do this. If not, skip to the next part of this video. Your router is running a piece of software that the manufacturer flashed onto it. Lucky for us, we can change it, and there are several options to choose from, the most popular being DDWRT. So find your router's model number and see if they have firmware for that specific model. Now, again, this won't work for everyone, but thousands of routers can be upgraded with this firmware. And I was able to find used $5 routers that were compatible. If you don't see a router on DDWRT's website, you can check out OpenVRT, Merlin or Tomato, you might be able to find a suitable firmware there. After that, just download the needed files and update your router using them. After that, you'll have the ability to install a VPN alongside a ton of other features. And if you have any issues setting it up, there are great tutorials on YouTube showing you everything step by step. So finally, what's the solution? While you can set up one device with a VPN and create a hotspot, 
that's just a band-aid solution and I'm not even considering it. The real solution is just to use apps. You simply cannot beat the performance of using a dedicated app on every device. Yeah, it can be a bit annoying to set it up, but once you do, you'll get great speeds and better security actually, because you'll be using more advanced security protocols. And since I talked about VPN speeds a lot in this video, I'll leave links to the fastest VPNs in the description. I researched a ton for this video, but with the current technology, installing a VPN on your router is not a feasible solution in my opinion. It's slow, can be expensive or hard to set up. But even with all of this knowledge, I bet you're using your VPN wrong. So I suggest you watch this video next to get the most out of your VPN.